The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour. Uh, as always, we love it to when you come to us at this time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. So we've got uh, the Fed kind of uh, dribbling out information dow's flat at the moment uh let's see if we got a new tick here on the s and s and p <laughs> come on s and p see come on do i got one take a look here uh, okay plus seven is what i have for the last tick on the s and p cash uh, NASDAQ up 72. It's been uh, kind of slightly uh, bullish here. And I don't know if you can make a great deal out of it. I suspect everybody pretty much was looking at what came down. Uh, the only thing I saw uh, reading it real quick was uh, they're looking at uh, tapering uh, late this month instead of in November. So maybe a, a little earlier maybe to start uh, tamping down the uh, price of gas and some of the other things that have gone off. But um, the real big stuff uh, next summer, uh, they're going to take off about $16 billion a month. Uh, so and we've got a little bit of a time. And i got a ticket plus five now. So uh, you know what? Probably not a lot that we didn't expect. Um, I have a feeling that... Uh, with especially some of the comments uh, from the uh, senators about the current uh, uh, dude, Mr. Powell, um, he'll probably go out uh, uh, and uh, have it uh, pretty much uh, tapering by the time he's leaving in February. I think it's in February. So uh, without uh, really needing to run, I think he'll be okay. Uh, but that's about it. Um, I've thought a few things were going on that were far more important, other than maybe a little fluctuation here today. Uh, more important than anything is the cash that they're throwing at the market. Uh, we're at 145.20 on the TLT. So that is a pretty good rise off of the mid-141 area earlier. Uh, not today, but this week. Um, of course, we've got expiration on Friday. That's kind of moving things around. Uh, but uh, and for the most part, I thought we're really, you know, this was nice to get this out of the way. But uh, traders probably really thinking about uh, some of those earnings tomorrow morning uh, when we have, uh, to, 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 what is it? We had JPM and DAL. We've got Taiwan Semiconductor, which is going to be a big thing. They're out at 6 a.m. in the morning. So you'll have to uh, be up uh, with the uh, with the uh, birds if you want to get your worm. Bank of America tomorrow morning, Wells Fargo, Citigroup, uh, United Healthcare, Morgan Stanley. So we're going to finish up with a lot of those banks. Uh, I think there's a couple more next week, but uh, for the most part, the broker dealer, big banker dudes, will be in the uh, in the can. Uh, by tomorrow's uh, open. So we'll see a lot more about that. But like I said, I think, especially in the semiconductor space, everybody wants to hear what Taiwan Semiconductor has to say. So we'll keep an eye on that. One of the biggest movers out there today is AMD. We'll talk about that uh, when we get time. Uh, and uh, probably the strangest thing I've seen in a long time, I, I happened a couple of days ago, but you know, I thought about it. When's the last time someone said that they uh, weren't feeling well and wanted to go home and spend some time with a kid? The Hasbro CEO said he was sick and actually died. I don't think how many times have people have said, I need to spend more time with my kids. And you always know. A mistress, 
um, drunk driving. There's something in the wood pile out there. Uh, but the Hasbro guy, eh, he got to run a toy company. But uh, actually was sick. Uh, which reminds me of that tombstone that says, I told you I was sick. But, uh, eh, fairly rare. Never. It's not never, but almost always you know uh, when people are telling you a lie, and that's one of the biggest ones. I'm sick. I'm not feeling well. I think there was another guy that had a heart transplant. Um, and I can't remember what company he worked for. But that's probably two in the last ten years that I can remember. But uh, that was it. Um, question about Max Payne. Um, we talked a little bit about that. Um, I don't call it Max Payne because that actually makes an idea that there is a, uh, a perfect number. Sometimes there is, but most of the time it's just a range of possibilities that are kind of in a bell curve. So that you know that, you know, there's probably this number and, you know, probably, I don't know, 60% of the time it's going to come yeah, with a little bit uh, plus or minus of that. Uh, but uh, it is a range of possibilities. It's not an actual 100% uh, projection. But you know what? Uh, they're thinking we could see still see 4,400 uh, by Friday's close. And I wouldn't be surprised to see that uh, if we got some good news out of some of the uh, uh, banks tomorrow, and especially Taiwan Semiconductor since they're under so much heat from the uh, Chinese, uh, maybe they'll have uh, more to say about that, about diversifying out of Taiwan. I know they sent enough. Uh, uh, they closed one fab and sent it lock, stock, and barrel here to the United States. Uh, but that was, I don't know, a month, six weeks ago. So that one eventually, all that equipment's there uh, if we need it. But, um, you know, maybe they'll start moving a lot more stuff here in the United States. They need a lot of water, and I don't understand the whole idea of moving to the middle of the desert. Uh, you need a lot of ultra-pure water for uh, semiconductor manufacturing. I think you, know, you want to be a little closer to a better supply of that, maybe Colorado, Colorado River. Sounds good. But, uh, eh, for some reason they want to all go down there in the desert, the high plains. But, uh, eh, kind of desolate, but uh, eh, some people like it. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, uh, right now, at least on the SPY, uh, looking for something around 37, or 370, excuse me. You want to put uh, 20 or 30 points on that, so just figure around 4,000, or uh, excuse me, 4,400 on the S&P cash. So that's kind of it, just mildly higher. And I think uh, they're thinking that the market's not going to get ahead of itself with more earnings next week. But that's kind of it. Bonds finding a lot of cash coming to it from probably a couple of fronts. One uh, is, uh, again, a respite on the government spending and the Fed throwing more cash uh, when it started heading out south of uh, 142. We shall return when we come back. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month and try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. So as we are uh, back, Tom says uh, in November, I read two different things during the break. So I don't know. It may be a Rorschach test, uh, as many of these uh, statements are about what people find where and which kind of tightening they're talking about and who. Uh, but uh, yeah, we're up about 13 points. Again, um, I haven't seen the uh, options guys blink yet. Normally, you're going to see uh, some big movement. Uh, when they're ready to uh, lay off of it. And, yeah, I think it's going to probably, we could easily bounce, you know, 35, 40 points before Friday. But there isn't a whole lot above that. In fact, there's some fairly significant resistance above that. So I think anything higher than that uh, is going to be problematic. Uh, as always, we like to do a little bit of history. And it's all just a little bit of history repeating. And as always, on this day in 1983, Ameritech Mobile Communications Executive Bob Barnett makes a phone call from a car parked near Soldiers Field in Chicago, officially launching the first cellular network in the United States. And uh, I remember the first time I saw one, I want to say it was 1985, maybe 1984, and... I was uh, at a sushi bar in Anaheim for the SIGGRAPH. That's the computer graphics thing. I want to say 1985. Sounds about right. And uh, I was sitting there at the bar, and some guy with kind of long hair, kind of looked a little bit hippie-ish, but very well-dressed, uh, was busy scarfing down a bunch of uh, stuff. And uh, he was that uh, um, oboe player. What's the guy's name? I can't think of it right now. Maybe someone will say in there. Da, 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 anyway, he was big popular back there in the 80s. And he just like had the beginning hit record at the time. That may place it a little bit better. Uh, but he had uh, one of those zero Halliburton briefcases and he pulled out a phone. It was magical back then. Something that we only dreamed of uh, didn't work that well, apparently, <laughs> uh, as I remember during the thing. Uh, but uh, he was getting phone calls left and right. He had a, a briefcase with a big battery to charge it. 
because apparently he had about 20 minutes of talk time. I'm trying to remember the guy's name now. Um, I'll think about it. Anyway, he was, wasn't it, was it an oboe? Clarinet? I think a clarinet or oboe. He was big, he had a lot of uh, big musical things. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, on this day in 1983, the world would start to change with uh, nothing more than radios, but they act like telephones, and that's what everybody wanted. So we move on. Okay. Um, Let's go ahead and start uh, looking at other stuff out here. Um, first question of the day goes to uh, okay. uh, Ronald, who wants to look at CCJ and sees anything. Um, yeah. You've got a new one. As we've been talking um, this week about just how tough it is uh, for uh, China. Uh, and they're basically rolling people uh, and businesses to use electricity uh, around the clock instead of all during the day uh, for manufacturing. But, uh, yeah, a nice move in Kimiko uh, yesterday. I think we talked a little bit about, about there, a little bit of follow-up today. What you don't have is a lot of volume on today's candle so far. you got about 10 million shares. Uh, you're going to need about 28. So you're probably in some kind of trading range at the moment, but that should be fairly good. Okay. And uh, it's Cousin URA. Kind of the same thing. Now, it's got the volume. Um, so we're going to pump it up. I'm going to pump up the volume. That's what we're going to do. Anyway, uh, didn't hold the high so far, but you have 5 million shares going into a little less than 4 million shares uh, on the URA. And that goes back to September 15th. So we've got that. Uh, the big mover of the day, or at least early mover in the day in uh, technology was Advanced Micro. Uh, they uh, introduced... Uh, a uh, new video card no one really knew that they had in the in the works uh, they also were able to get it out to the influencers on YouTube uh, everybody saying you know for the money it's the best thing uh, at a budget card again it's no different than the rest of this stuff and that is are you going to be able to get it but uh, there were a lot of people uh, AMD ends up being one of the most shorted stocks all the time in fact uh, let's bring this up because i do have this in my newsletter every day which are the most heavily daily shorted stocks um that we have here uh and uh yep amd again yesterday 35 percent uh yesterday uh day before yesterday 35 percent 33 percent on the 8th 29th on the 7th and 24. So you can see these ramp ups, and it doesn't take much to get everybody uh, to call an offsides on them and move them higher. You know, five bucks, is that a big move? In the scheme of things, not really. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, if they could ever start meeting demand, these companies are worth maybe twice what they're worth today. So when I look at NVIDIA, yeah, is it easy? If it could meet demand, is it an easily a $1,000 company? Um, post-split, yeah, but uh, we shall see. Um, in fact, let's take a look at that in a second. But AMD always on the top here. This seems to be the one people love to hate. Um, what was going to take it? NVIDIA. Um, NVIDIA, what was it? Four for one. So 840 bucks. Uh, this easily could go to a thousand bucks on just the minute, uh, minute ability to sell just a little bit more. And I imagine they've been working all year to get ready for a Christmas rush, but it still doesn't seem like there's that much uh, coming out the door. And I'm, that's what I'm saying. I don't know if the pop in AMD is going to last that long, just in the fact that what are they going to do? Uh, if supply didn't get better, it doesn't matter if they have a better product. If you can't get it, 
affect a lot of people in the computer uh, space, especially in gaming uh, or in uh, crypto, uh, are just having some big problems. Um, AMD did also make some comments, though, on cryptocurrencies uh, and the people using them. They kind of actively go after it. NVIDIA does not. Uh, but AMD kind of let it be known over the last 24 hours that the United States is now the biggest uh, crypto miner in the United States. Uh, when China said niet, a oh, mixed metaphor there between the Russians and the Chinese, they said niet on any kind of uh, cryptocurrency mining because they needed the electricity. Well, they all went to the United States and most of them have. We'll be back in a minute. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. As we return, uh, John from the Den asks about TAN, the solar ETF. Does this have legs? Well, you certainly had a lot of volume yesterday. Uh, you also had a, a fairly decent amount of people shorting it. So what do we have here? Um, 1. Uh, and 1.5 million shares so far today, going into about 700, 800,000 in previous bounces. Um, now, um, does it, it does it mean we break out now? I think you probably have some consolidation, but you have one of the strongest moves. Uh, you came back on about 1.8 on my power law vector indicator, 
and up on about 3.2. So this sound has significant more energy now, mostly uh, over the last three days, uh, but uh, decent enough. So yeah, I think you're doing good. The question is, do you uh, are you able to close over the 88.22? I think that would tell you something. Um, let's go back here a little bit farther. Um, and of course, uh, next leg up takes you to 93.49. Um, so not a bad looking chart. Um, as long as, uh, there's a, uh, a considerable bias against fossil fuels, uh, by the U S administration and others around the globe, I think, uh, you're probably doing good. I think it's a false, uh, economy. Uh, I can go through all the reasons why I wouldn't be buying it. And if you buy it for your uh, you know, as a subsidy, uh, backed by the uh, city or the state, eh, all you're doing is getting other people to pay for it, which is sometimes not bad, but uh, it's not economical quite yet. And we continue to say that why these things are great, these things could be 10 times bigger if they could find the right storage medium for, the, for uh, that, and it's not batteries. Uh, whether it's cars catching on fire or the big uh, battery system down in Australia catching fire, there's a theme. And that's that lithium ion batteries catch fire. And, you know, I don't know if there's anything they can ever do. They can mitigate it to a, a huge extent, but there's going to be one out of a thousand or one out of 10,000 that are going to catch fire. And it's not bad maintenance or anything else. It's just. Uh, the luck of the draw. So like I said yesterday, I wouldn't have an electric car in my garage. Uh, if I had it, it'd have to sit outside or if it just spontaneously combusted. Remember when everybody used to talk about spontaneous human combustion? Then they found out it was just people falling asleep with cigarettes and cotton clothes that act like a wick and uh, slowly burned up all their fat until there was not much left. Very hot flame, by the way. Uh, anyway, uh, looks good out here, so I can't say anything bad about it. And uh, as long as uh, we have people very hostile uh, to uh, 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 carbon-based fuels, uh, that's it. You know, if you listen to what they actually say, they want to see gasoline at eight bucks. So I don't know if they'd ever be able to get it there without a riot. Uh, certainly, everybody. The, uh, I'd get into the pitchfork business uh, because the uh, the people would be uh, the the people would be picking up their pitchforks to go after uh, the ruling class. I think at eight bucks, if it happened too fast. But uh, five bucks right now in uh, New York and L.A. Um, Three twenty here. I think I saw it in uh, Tampa or in Clearwater yesterday. So, eh, what can you say? As long as they uh, artificially uh, induce higher prices for crude oil. Uh, I don't think that uh, this is going to be bad. I have a feeling, though, they're going to wake up and they're going to start looking at the polls come, uh, I don't know, first month or two of, uh, of next year. And they're going to go, you know, we're going to get slacked if we continue down this road, especially from the people that don't make very much. Uh, it's one of the most oppressive taxes that you can have, and that is uh, artificially, by the government, put up prices on fuel, mostly gasoline. Uh, oh, John says he caught fire in lithium. I blew up something with some sodium. I remember that. Uh, da, da, da. Would I do solar at my house? No. The uh, idea is that uh, solar panels can last 20 years. Uh, the reality is that you're going to get somewhere around 7 to 10, and they're either going to fail or they're only going to produce about half the power that they used to. Um, and that is the real problem is that they're not like roof tiles that last 20 years. When they get a little bit bad, you just, eh, maybe I'll put a new one up there in the place of the one bad one. Um they're just going to be very expensive for a while. They're not going to get any more efficient. Everybody's pretty much figured it out. 
I think that they could get the price down, like I said, if they could just come up with the perfect battery, uh, a uh, solid state battery that would last, you know, 10 or 20 years too. Uh, but they can't. And, you know, solar cells really, uh, at least solar panels are being uh, sold mostly on how much power they can kick out. And, eh, you know, have you ever tried to get uh, anybody uh, to actually cover that roofing tile warranty? Uh, guess what? Those companies go out of business every five or ten years. It's the same kind of scam that you get with people trying to sell you warranties on your used cars. Guess what? They're there for a year. They'll never pay off. And uh, I think fly by night is a term I think comes to. Anyway, a lot of these solar panel uh, companies are just that way. They form different companies. They push them out for a few years and then they disappear and you've got no warranty and that's it. So, yeah, it's a good idea. A lot of uh, we hope, uh, but uh, it's not something we can live on. Right now, the United States get about 3% of uh, its power from renewables. Uh, and if you put up 10%, you still have the problem with you still have to uh, maintain the exact same uh, energy producing place because guess what? If it gets cloudy or the wind stops blowing or the wind stops blowing and it's cloudy, you, you know, sometimes you get both of them. But no, there isn't a good option quite yet. And of course, um, if you want to make it efficient, the power, some of the power companies have done it. You really need to make a farm out of the thing and have a full time operator cleaning them, uh, keeping them aimed, replacing the motors on them. It's not a zero-sum game where you just set the things up and you walk away. Uh, they need uh, a lot of uh, TLC over time. Uh, they're not just dust. set them and forget them. Um, <laughs> your Persian rug discount dealer. <laughs> hey, that's interesting. I didn't know that. Uh, okay. Uh, 877-927-6648. And yes, it was Kenny G. I couldn't think of it at the time. I'll have to go back and see when his uh, first album was out. That's what it was. I was at the uh, SIGGRAPH, uh, which is the uh, special interest group for graphics, the original stuff. And I remember Luxor, the uh, Luxor animation, the lamp that was kind of a, the, a predecessor to Pixar had come out that year. We'll be back in a minute. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. As we return, Ron asks about what's uh, in store for us today. Um, I think flat. I thought that this morning before anything ever started. I saw no reason to get out in front of us. Again, generally what was going to happen during expiration week, if there's going to be a movement, um, the uh, you're going to see it telegraphed in the options market generally a couple hours before it actually happens. And there wasn't anything at 1 o'clock when I run the numbers. So I wasn't really concerned that I was missing the boat or anything. Uh, but I think tomorrow, maybe during the close today, we may see something. And if we do, then that uh, jumping off point is probably on earnings tomorrow morning. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, here a little higher. The only good play, I think, is uh, buying uh, calls for maybe Friday's close. And the question is whether I buy them. Uh, at the close today, tomorrow, or Friday morning, because 35 points or 45 points is not that much. Uh, but you might be able to make some decent money if you if uh, they make this thing uh, hang out longer and longer, and you're able to buy them maybe Friday morning and still get the, a little bit of a bounce Friday afternoon. But other than that, there's not a lot of money and fairly decent amount of risk. So I'll be looking at that. Um, carpet stores. Okay. Got to else. Okay. Um, somebody mentioned lit, which is the lithium ETF, uh, probably in a good way of looking at, uh, this business. Uh, you had a nice gap up higher today. Let's take a look at, uh, Tesla. Um, Tesla hasn't been doing a lot. It's just kind of going up. Today on very light volume, no signal yet. Uh, you got up to 8.12. Uh, there is, you're close enough um, and above uh, this eight, uh, 7.80 on April 13th. Uh, but you've never really gotten the volume you really needed. Yesterday you got 22 million shares. Um, so it's nice. Um, the idea isn't that you just have to short this. Uh, but I think that there is some kind of thing. Um, let's take a look at uh, what they show for uh, da, 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 for uh, shorting on Tesla. Um, probably the biggest problem I have right now, and one of the reasons I've uh, waited, uh, is that shorter sellers have come back in since it got above 780. And it, it's not horrible. Uh, but 18% yesterday, that's almost a good sign that you're going to at least have three more days. Uh, kind of like uh, Punk Satani Phil. You get a lot of people shorting, it's almost always going to be at least another three days before you should uh, act. It's rare that everybody just gets short at the top. Uh, generally, it's when the shorts give up uh, that a stock heads lower. And you've got some shorts in this thing. So I'm, you know, every dollar it goes uh, higher. I'm feeling a little bit better about shorting it, uh, but uh, you know, as all things, you have to wait for the signal, and there's nothing in this one quite yet. 
Uh, and of course, uh, you know, pushing uh, very expensive uh, gasoline out there makes people take a little bit more of a look at it, but uh, not that much. Um, I'm going to also, uh, to my subscribers, have probably tomorrow morning a list of the most shorted stocks uh, by the buy monthly that came out uh, what last night. Um, I'll be running those. Uh, I started running them today, uh, but I'll uh, continue to start and run them the rest of uh, the night. Should have them for you in the morning. Uh, but there's two kinds of shorting. There's the uh, uh, the kind where you get the numbers uh, every two weeks, and there's the one that you get every uh, every day. The ones from every day are from Fenra. You really don't know how many people covered those before the end of the day. Uh, but the ones every bi-monthly are at least 10 days old. And uh, there is a proper accounting. But uh, that's kind of it. Uh, question from a couple more. Uh, methane is everywhere. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I'm a big fan thinking that hydrogen is going to be the wave of the future unless they find some kind of terrifically new battery that doesn't cost a million dollars to produce. Um, so, yeah, that's that's right, Al. As I said, was it yesterday or the day before, Toyota has a hydrogen-powered car that went on one fill-up 850 miles. You know, you probably would get more of a typical range of 600 miles. So it's kind of a lot like a regular car these days. That's version two. I don't know if it'll be ready for prime time. They're just getting that uh, Mariah two uh, out, but uh, looks good. Uh, are the bank's earnings going to move the market one way or the other tomorrow? Um, well, it did do much this morning. I think a lot of people are just wanting to make sure that there isn't some kind of giant uh, pothole that we hit on those tomorrow. And once there is, I think they'll go back to uh, doing it. But uh, what do we have out here this morning? Uh, go ahead and look. That was JPM, right? Uh, 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 so let's take a look at those real quick. Uh, JPM. Yeah, you're down a little bit. Yeah. But it's not a big deal. Volume's picking up a little bit. They were a little soft. I don't think a lot was going on. Uh, Delta Airlines. Uh, yeah, I think they're starting to wake up to the fact that uh, the pilot's going to cost them a lot more money in the near future. Let's see if uh, Boeing had any reaction to that. Not much. Down just a hair. I think you're going to have to buy the planes no matter what. So that looks good. But, yeah, I think all these airline companies have been living in a dream world uh, where there were too many pilots, and now there isn't enough. And they decided to get rid of a bunch of them over the last year when they're going to need them most. So maybe some of those will come back. Uh, but uh, I think the best thing for both uh, Boeing and uh, any of these airlines would be a change in the law from the FAA of mandatory retirement at 65. I've never, you know, I think it has a lot more to do with the doctor than it has to do with uh, you hitting the big 6-5. Um, let's take a look at uh, some others tomorrow morning. Uh, Bank of America, let's see what this is doing uh, into tomorrow's open. Yeah, down a little bit, but it was down a lot comparatively for the day. $42.33 was the low. But of course, uh, right now, 43.03, which is just kind of close enough to the high to not be much. It looks like they're doing fairly good. Uh, WFC, and no, I have no idea what these guys are going to say tomorrow. I don't think anybody else does either. Wells Fargo, of course, the stinky, stinkiest of the stinky. Remember, we had two stinky guys in class when I was, like, in fifth or sixth grade. Always fighting over which one stank more. Uh, nothing like taking a shower every once in a while. Anyway, uh, down on lighter volume, previous low of the 28th of September, 50 million shares uh, being tested today with 17. So, but, again, the worst of the worst, WC. We'll be back in a minute.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN. Also, a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. That's right. Uh, next hour, it's Tom O'Brien bringing everything home to the close. And, of course, uh, during that hour, you're probably going to have the president uh, on the uh, blower talking about trying to get uh, the fiasco out there at Long Beach handled. I don't know if it's going to matter a lot, but we'll have to see what they have to say. Question from uh, Engineer, and that is, uh, can... Uh, uh, regular combustion engines be made to run hydrogen, and the answer is yes. They don't do that well because they're only about 80% as powerful. So if you had a 200-horsepower engine, 160, uh, they're much better off as fuel cells where you just uh, pump in a lot of hydrogen. Uh, you scavenge oxygen uh, out of the air so you don't have to bring that with you, and uh, that gives more room. But... Uh, uh, every, what was it, every 20 pounds of uh, hydrogen uh, is worth 2,000 pounds of batteries. I think that was what I came up with when we look back. So uh, there's a huge weight uh, disparity between what you have to drag uh, and what you bring. So, you know, as long as it's compressed, it never really, you know, it's not really that much heavier. So, uh, but, yeah, you're probably talking about electric uh, motors with a hydrogen fuel cell and some big scuba tanks like Jaws bid on uh, for that. But uh, I think that's – it may take a little bit more time, but I think Toyota's got something there. If uh, they got the 850 
miles out of one, and you're probably not going to get that. Some guy going exactly 25 miles an hour across the country. But um, 600 miles, doable. So, And, of course, uh, recharge or refill up in five minutes. And uh, you can overhaul the fuel cells for an eternity. They've been doing them forever in some places. So I kind of like that part. Get ready to rumble tomorrow morning uh, with the uh, earnings coming out for the banks and Taiwan Semiconductor at 6 in the morning. We meet at dawn, actually before dawn. Sell when you can, not when you have to. We'll see you tomorrow at dawn and, of course, at 2 p.m.